The fact that in India more than 60% of the roads are poorly maintained as a result 6,796 accidents, 7,432 injuries and more than 2,046 deaths are happening in every year. This led to think that it would be great if the maps can provide an overlay of the road condition in real time on top of the existing terrain. So here comes the project for speed breaker and pothole mapping. The receiver antenna is placed on the roof of the vehicle. The microcontroller unit that is the Arduino is placed inside the vehicle. This is the antenna for the GPS. Now whenever the vehicle passes through a speed breaker or a pothole, it experiences a chart similar to this one. These are the readings from the accelerometer z-axis. The system basically catches the variation from the output of the accelerometer. Whenever there is a sharp increase in the accelerometer reading, it will fetch the GPS data. The GPS data will include three segments, the timestamp and the latitude and the longitude. The data logging happens in the computer as a text file. Whenever it passes through a jolt, it receives the GPS signal with latitude, longitude and the level bit at the end. Text file contains three segments with ID, latitude, longitude and timestamp. At the end, there is a level bit which indicates the extent. Uploading of the text file is through the fusion table from Google API. Since it's a comma separated format, we are giving it in a CSV format. The table is imported into the Google Fusion table and the first column that's with the timestamp is changed into the date and time data format. The map of the particular GPS coordinates are shown. This is the first basic map with no level bits. That is all the waypoints are shown just as a red mark. And here you can see there are three different categories of the waypoints. That they are the green one with level 1, the purple one with level 2 and blue one with level 3. So these indicate to which extent the road have been damaged or in the bad condition. So that the drivers can safely avoid the roads that are worse. This also provides the satellite imagery of the map. Since carrying the microcontroller unit with the vehicle is not a feasible idea, the probable future scope would be making an Android app with the built-in accelerometer and the GPS modules in the phone itself. Here it will be using the cloud database to log the data from the accelerometer and then the users will be provided with an overlay of the real-time conditions of the map which can be effectively used by the drivers to choose the best way out of the lot that is available. Thank you.